Hello everybody. Next camera is the Petri 7. It was made by Kuribayashi Camera Industry Incorporated from 1961 to 1962. Then it was replaced by the Petri 7S as a 45 millimeter f1.8 Petri lens. There was also a model of this with an f2.8 lens. Uh, close focuses down to 2.75 feet, about 0.8 meters. So it's pretty close for an old rangefinder. Um, this label, where it has the name of the camera and the arrow coming down, that stylized thing also points to the distance. And it's got a nice big knob, so it's real easy to get really precise focusing. It's a nice ergonomic feature. Um, Petri apparently made the shutter as well. Uh, it's a Petri MVE shutter. Uh, it goes from one second to one five hundredth of a second plus bulb. Um, the ISO setting, the fastest this does, and that's also on the barrel. Everything's on the barrel on this camera pretty much. Uh, the fastest ISO is 200. Uh, so that's pretty slow for a fastest speed, but there's a pretty easy workaround. I'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, it has a cold shoe, uh, but then it has a uh, PC sync socket here on the shutter. And there's also an M and X selector. kind of gives you an idea of the age of it. Uh, it still had a setting for flash bulbs. Uh, the X sync speed is 1 60th of a second, kind of a normal speed. Um, also in the barrel is a 12 second ish self timer. This one's sticky. You cock it and hit it and it'll go and then sort of stop. Um, I rarely use a self timer on something like this, so not that big of a deal. Probably tearing into it and just a little cleaning and lubrication would fix it. I probably won't monkey with it. Uh, it has what they call the circle eye selenium meter. Uh, it surrounds the lens. It's inside the filter ring, so you don't have to compensate for filters. Um, this one is really accurate. Not bad for a 56, 57 year old camera. The viewfinder is pretty bright. Uh, the focus patch is really easy to see. So they're green o matic, tinting this window green. It really does work pretty well. Uh, it's nice and bright, easy to, easy to focus. Um, inside the viewfinder also there's a square for your normal frame line. And then it just has little dots for parallax correction for when you're pretty close up. So it's nice and uncluttered. It's a really nice viewfinder. On the right hand side um, is your meter. And it just, you know, you're above or below as a, a marker in the middle, you match the needle to the middle and your exposure is correct. It's an uncoupled meter, it just, you know, meters for you. It doesn't control anything. So even uh, if you get one of these with a dead meter, the camera will work fine. You just have to meter separately. So about that uh, slow, fastest film speed, um, I shared the role of uh, Tri-X 400 uh, it was the second roll I ran through the Canon T50, and the tail end of it I put in here. I wish I had saved more shots for this. Got about nine images, something like that. I had 400 speed film, so I set the camera for 200. I would center the needle as if it was 200, and then just depending on the picture, using the aperture or uh, the shutter speed, I would just uh, make it one stop dimmer. And then after a little while, uh, you know, where it was below the match point in the viewfinder, I just kind of got to know that so I didn't have to do that every time. I would, instead of centering the needle, I would just bring the needle up to about one stop below what it thought was the proper exposure. So the camera's real main limitation isn't much of a limitation at all. It was really, really easy to work around. Um, this is the third Petri rangefinder that I've shot with. I think they're really underappreciated. 
there was an old uh, Petri 35, I think that's just what they called it. And then I shot with an F2.8 racer. Uh, I got my hands on a uh, faster lensed racer, but its shutter needs some work, so maybe one of these days. Anyway, if uh, if you get one of these, if you just want a nice walking around rangefinder, and they could be had for dead cheap uh, on auction sites, thrift stores, and things like that, they're kind of like an old Volvo. You know, they're not going to be the fastest or the sexiest, but they'll do the job well, and they'll keep doing it for a really long time. So I've really enjoyed it. I'll probably load a uh, roll of color film in here and take it out for another spin. So until then, I'll see you then.